Uh, scientifically, uh, I'm really excited about going to Mars, uh, among other options in the solar system, because what's at stake at Mars is really important. It's central to our fundamental questions. It's about the search for life. Uh, we're trying to find life on Mars. Uh, not just whether there was life once in the past, uh, but possibly whether there is life even today on Mars. Uh, life as we know it on the Earth needs liquid water. Everywhere on Earth where you find liquid water, even not all year round, but parts of the time, you will find life there. Now, uh, there might be other forms of life that don't rely on liquid water, but let's start with what we know. Uh, we have been targeting in our strategy of Mars exploration environments that uh, once had water, liquid water, uh, and possibly might even have liquid water today. Uh, so a very important place for us to look for life on Mars today would be to go underground. Uh, not necessarily with humans sort of caving into Mars, but just drilling deeper down into the Martian crust, uh, where, to the point where we might access uh, places that, where, there are, uh, where there's liquid water available. Uh, you could even be helped by nature. Volcanism might be still active on Mars. There could be places where there's actually uh, steam and liquid water very near the surface in volcanically active uh, places on Mars today. And so those are very uh, tangible and exciting targets for us to look for possible life even on Mars today. And it's going to be a difficult search. It will be helped by robotic exploration. But from my perspective, it will take humans, humans' ability to analyze on site what they're seeing, to respond to, uh, immediately to the wonders of discovery.